Yes. An apt and worthy place to introduce my next guest. He's a man who made pop history back in the 70s with a cult which became known as Glitter Mania. After a battle with the bottle, he's now back where he belongs. Would you please welcome Gary Glitter? He's gonna make a I haven't been to see you for a long time. <laughs> Grab a seat, uh, sir. Excuse me, we're entangled. Hi, Australia, how are you? I'm not feeling up, Gary, we're entangled. Are we entangled? There we are. Oh, right. Gary, uh, first off the top, the thing, the first thing that springs to my mind is the outfit. Yeah. Do you like think? it? And that's fantastic. Is there, a, is, there a, is there a specific line of thinking behind this one? Yeah, I've just flown in. It's, it's, it's terrific. You've got a wardrobe full of these things, haven't you? Oh. Roughly how many? Uh, actually, not as many as I used to have, because in uh, 19... It was in 1976, 77, I went bankrupt. And one of the things I had to do, uh, after I got rid of a house similar to this, yep. was to um, auction off uh, my clothes. And so a lot, of, a lot of my costumes, some of the things that I wore on tour when I was in Australia the first time round, were, were actually sold to the fans. So they turned up with all the gear on, which is great. You were, you were yeah. nude for three years, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, I was. You're dead right, because I went up for a while, Spike. I went up for a while and became a hippie up there in Queensland. In, in, uh, the deep north. It, yeah, it was yeah. brilliant. I, I spent seven months up there. Did people recognise you? Did they say Gary Well, Glitter? they didn't they didn't recognise the face, but as Spike said, I was nude, and of course, in the minute, yeah. they, you know, <laughs> a couple of sequins still in their Absolutely, hair. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I, love, I remember going to a party with Gary once, and he was <laughs> turned out, I don't want him smoking. <laughs> he didn't know he was there. <laughs> That's right. I, I mean, I spent... Far away! Yeah, I did. I spent That's why he did well in the deep north. <laughs> I spent about... <laughs> yeah, that's uh, all those magic mushrooms. But I spent... I, I'm a completely different guy in that. Just, I ran in there. That was I mean, great. I go running every day. I do about eight or ten miles. It's much better than drugs or drink. Is you it? Know, it is, I tell you. Oh, Christ. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's right. <laughs> in, those, in those days of the 70s of glitomania, you used to lead, lead a fairly exotic lifestyle with the... Uh, didn't you have uh, orgies on islands and have parties that cost, cost half a million quid and things like that? Yeah. Lovely, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not doing too bad. You're having, I mean, nobody can afford... Oh, yeah, this is an orgy yeah, on an cakes. island. Have I you seen know. these cakes? I mean, this is an orgy. Yeah, it's a gastronomic orgy. They're plastic, plastic repros. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have, you yeah, been, have you been to Blenheim before, Gary? I have. I have. Many, many, uh, many years ago, as a kid, I used to come down here. My father, in fact, <laughs> wow. used to take American tourists yeah, around some so nice, Stratford, like... Blenheim. <laughs> and so, as a kid, I used to come to this place quite often. <laughs> and it really is splendid. It's well worth seeing. It's beautiful to see it again. And, of course, I'm, I'm, I know some of, the, uh, some of the inhabitants of it as well quite well. You when know. is what? The mice? Well, you know, the younger ones. The, the, younger, the younger members of uh, the owners of this joint. You know. Oh, who are they? Well, there's Jamie. I mean, he's a nice bloke. You know, he got into trouble a bit, but he's okay now, I believe. Yeah. Uh, you must have met them, of course, when you were around here this morning. Yeah, the Duke and I yeah, we went riding, in. bit of fox hunting, like that sort do. of stuff. Polo. They play polo here, apparently. <laughs> yeah. It's, Good. Uh, it's a very posh <laughs> game to play. Have you ever played polo, Spike? No. No. If I was a horse, I'd, I'd play polo. <laughs> Who's to say you're not, really? No. <laughs> Have you ever played polo, Gareth? No. No, I'm not good on a horse. I'm OK. I mean, no, I'm, I'm all right to a heard. point. But no, no, no. <laughs> I like the way they wiggle their bottom, though. I mean, I'd love to see a horse from, yeah. from the backside. <laughs> They're all inbred, though, the upper class, don't you think? I think so. Yeah. No! No. Yeah, exactly. I think so. I think Maybe it's right. those houses they live in with the mock Tudor beams. They've been hitting there well, for centuries. Although if, I don't if, know. If the royal family aren't allowed to hunt foxes <laughs> and mm. play polo. They would suffer withdrawal symptoms. They'd have to go under a psychiatrist. They can't stop it. No. It's like it's hunting, in the blood. Hunting yeah. junkies. They are. <laughs> hunting junkies. But they should retire yeah. them all and just set up Buckingham House as a theme park. Well, it is. <laughs> we can, we can't go in and actually be thematic. <laughs> We're going to take a break, but before we take the break, let's have a look at Gary's latest uh, clip, Gary Glitter in concert.
I'm with Gareth, I'm with Kathy, I'm with Gary, and we're having a ball. Incidentally, Gary's got a book and a record uh, out. What's in the book, Gary? It's an autobiography. Well, the, the book is uh, an autobiography. It's uh, all about me. In fact, Spike, I think there's a mention of Spike in here as well. Oh, that'll sell it. Um, <laughs> that'll sell it. But um, it, I'll tell you what happened, really. There was... Uh, the publisher came to us and said, uh, there's two or three people who are going to make a, a, a story about you, a book about you. Would you like to do one yourself? And I said, well, I'm not really old enough to do an autobiography, you know? And uh, anyway, we got stuck into it, and I said if I liked it, I would do it. And um, it was great, actually, because um, I had, as, as a lot of people may know, I had a lot of problems with uh, drug dependency and bankruptcy and all those sort of things. And to write a book, it gets rid of it all, you know? Yeah. And so everything is new now. We've got a new album. Yeah, right, Gary. Too, I, I'm, right? I'm going to have to. I'm just going to have to he's stop got the. Uh, and he's got the too. Gary Glitter show bag, of course, that's Absolutely. available here at Glen Palace. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cheerio, is quick. Oh, Glenn Robbins has just come back from the microlite, and in fact, what happened was his scarf. Yeah. Uh, there it is. There. His scarf <laughs> got yes. caught in the propeller, and the, and the the plane stopped. And he yes, it did. Was. Crash landing. I jumped out and landed on my feet and just went like that, and I was all right. So he's back with us. He's back with us uh, in one piece. Mike, how long have we got to go? Record the voice. Fifteen seconds. Cheerio, oh, very quickly. Hi to my uh, my goddaughter Alexandra, my Liz, Jenny, and Spikes. My granddaughter Tara. And yeah. there we have it. Thank you very much, guys, for being with us. It was a terrific treat. Tomorrow night we're coming to you from a little village. We've got uh, Oliver Reed, Vic Reeves, Bob Mortimer, Pam Ears, and such other things as Shula Major. Thanks for being with us, Australia.